Hello and thanks for joining us on Bistec on Ghana Web TV, the most watched business show in the country. I am Ernestina Sewa Asante. On today's edition, we take a look at the story of Sarah Nyako, who is the only female carpenter in the Bono East region. And our regional correspondent, Frank Abuaje, has more. Gender-based segregation continues to be recorded in the occupational sector in many parts of West Africa. In Ghana, for instance, certain occupations are reserved for men, whilst others, traditionally, are reserved for women. Jobs such as dressmaking, food vending, sale of vegetables, baking of bread, traditionally are for women. But certain ladies and women are bent on making strides by breaking this occupational bridge. One of such ladies is Sarah Nyako, who has taken an apprenticeship in carpentry at the Big Osei Furniture Works in Atebubu. Here is Bistec on Ghana Web TV. We are here to engage Sarah to find out her motivation, success story, challenges, and prospects for the future. I am at Big Osei Furniture Works in Atibu, and my guest is Miss Saranyako, the lady who has taken up apprenticeship in Kapinfi. Sarah, good afternoon. That's what I want to say. Now, tell me, how did your dream of becoming a carpenter begin? So basically what you are telling me is that your journey started as a fashion designer before you added the faculty. Okay, so now tell me for how long have you been in this job? Okay, viewers, Saranyako is telling me she started as a fashion designer before venturing into the field of carpentry. She has been in this job for almost a year now. Here is Bistec on Ghana Web TV. The story of Sarah has just begun. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. Okay, 
So now, let's go into how your decision to be a carpenter, your decision was taken by your family members. What did your parents say? What did your friends say when they saw that you were a carpenter? So you have been doing this for one year. Do you still have any regrets or you are still bent on pursuing this dream? So how far do you want to pursue this dream after you finish, do you want to be a master of your own? How far do you want to go? Now let's go into some of the challenges you are facing. I can see you have some police here who are men. How do you relate with them? Is it difficult to work with men or is it just like working with ladies? Okay, so now let's get into the job itself. When you enter up to now, do you think there are certain parts or portions of the job that are meant, not meant for ladies, or you think the carpentry is a profession in the living without any form of protection? Yeah. 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 Okay, now let's go into the challenges. I'm sure you face some challenges when you enter up to now. If I should ask you what are some of the challenges you are encountering? <laughs>
Continues. I have with me another colleague of Sarah. It's an entirely segment, and we are going to find out from him his relationship with the only lady in the shop. Boss, good afternoon. But you are within the segment. I'll say it was Mary Jane is a sister Sarah. I got two of the moment. And so, Sarah, the more they more, the Juma here, no sign of him. Yeah, 
Thank you, Frank Abuaje, for that report. Up next is Biz Headlines. To our very first story, data shown by the Ghana Statistical Service has shown that consumers' appetites for internet banking has 
started slowing down. An analysis of the summary of economic and financial data January 2022 indicates that the growth rate of internet banking, both in terms of value and volume, slowed down in December compared to the previous two months in the last quarter of the year. While there was a nominal increase in the value of, of transactions from 5.7 billion cities to 5.9 billion cities, the rate of growth dropped to 3% in December from the 13% and 14% recorded in October and November 2021 respectively. The same trend was observed in the volume of transactions where the growth rates saw a decline to 10% in December from the 11.3% it recorded in November. Ghana's local currency has depreciated by 4.70% to the US dollar with only 45 days into the start of 2022. According to the Forex market, the Ghana city is trading at 6 cities 60 pesos to 1 US dollar. According to reports, the Ghana city struggles against the the major trading currency have also rendered it as the second worst performing currency in Africa among 15 other top performing currencies. Market analysts have since attributed the city's current woes to upside risk such as the high interest payment, lack of adequate revenue mobilization, increasing government expenditure and high debt concerns. Now to fuel prices, some oil marketing companies have begun increasing fuel prices at the pumps as projected by some analysts. Total Oil has taken the lead to increase its prices to sell a litre of diesel and petrol at 7 cities 99 pesos. This upward adjustment was expected as COPEC and the Institute of Energy Security warned, as, warned of an increase for the third time this year by mid-February. This, experts say, is a result of rising crude oil prices on the international market. The price of crude oil is presently going for about $993.39 on the world market. The Ghana Statistical Service has said that the producer price inflation recorded for January this year reached 15.6%. The PPI measures the average change over time in the prices received by domestic producers for the production for, of their goods and services. According to the GSS, its latest figures for January 2022 indicate the rates represent a 0.9% point increase in producer inflation relative to the rate recorded in December 2021, which was 14.7%. For the month-on-month -month change in producer price index between December 2021 and January 2022, the Ghana Statistical Service recorded 4.0%. The Ghana Revenue Authority has disclosed plans to commence a pilot on electronic commerce, gaming and betting sports tax regime beginning April this year. According to the Commissioner General of the Authority, Amit Shaddai Ousu Amwa said, a system has since been designed to ensure that the aforementioned sectors operating in the country are task compliant. Speaking at a ceremony in the Volta region, the GRA boss said the move seeks to complement revenue mobilization efforts aimed at assisting the authority to meet its targets of 80.3 billion CDs for 2022. To our very final story for the day, the board of the Ghana Airport Company Limited have appointed a new managing director in the person of Pamela Jamsin Tete. She assumes the seat vacated via resignation by Yao Kwakwa, the outgoing managing director whose sacking was embroiled in controversy weeks ago. In a press statement forwarded to Ghana Web, it said, Following an emergency meeting of the GACL board held on Wednesday, February 16, Mr. Yao Kwakwa submitted his Mr. Yao Kwakwa submitted his resignation as the managing director of the Ghana Airport Company Limited, effective close of day, February 17, 2022. <laughs> It's a wrap for today's edition of Bistec on Ghana Web TV. Bistec airs every Friday 
on Ghana Web TV. I am Ernestina Sewa Asante. Before we go, do log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more stories. Do well to follow us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Ghana Web. On YouTube, Ghana Web TV. Once again, I am Ernestina Sewa Asante. Do have a lovely weekend.